Well, the weather is changing. It's getting cold outside. Here comes the snow. Whether you like it or not, which I do not, but that may change the way you want to drink your whiskey, maybe. Uh, some of you may opt out of drinking on the rocks and more straight because of the cold weather. Or it may just taste, change the, uh, the brands of whiskey you want to taste. I know it does for me. So we're going to get into that. My name is Keith. This is the Bourbon Shop, and this is a list of whiskeys I tend to gravitate towards in these cold winter months. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so Maker's Mark, which I'm a, just a complete fan of Maker's Mark. I love everything they put out so far. But the Private Select, and it comes out in different profiles. This one is Fire Toasted Caramel Apple Crumb like a nice caramel crumb cake and pretty much that's that's what you get out of this along with that cherry cola taste that i love it's warm it's a weeded bourbon so to me weeded bourbons always have a nice rich mouth coating um, it's 108 proof and it runs around 35 bucks so this is definitely definitely one that i reached to in the cold winter months maker's mark all right rare breed how are you going to get through winter without rare breed? You know, this is just a nice, sweet, and spicy caramel bomb that just warms your insides up. Um, it runs around 50 bucks. I think the juice in here is anywhere between the 6 to 8 to 12 year um, area. It runs about 50 bucks. This is a hundred and, what is it, 116.8. So it has some heat to it, but, you know, here in Michigan, man, you know, that hog blows. We can get down to... 10, 10 below zero wind chill factor. So something like this is good for these cold Michigan winters. Rare breed. All right, next. Okay, this is one that may not be wide in circulation. It's a, it's, it's a Michigan-based uh, bourbon here in the uh, Detroit area, actually. Detroit City Distillery. This is a toasted barrel. And um, this is my second bottle of this and it's delicious i love it got that smoky taste um nice brown sugar it's oaky get nice cherry influence i believe it's a hundred proof yeah well no 116 proof so that has a nice amount of heat too for these cold winter uh days in, in michigan so um, if you if you see this in your area outside of this state, let me know because I'm, I'm kind of curious if it's branching branching out a little bit. So, yep, gotta have this one. All right, this is Old Soul. I love this one as well. This one runs you about seventy five bucks. It is one hundred and twenty proof. One hundred and twenty proof. You get a nice note of hazelnut out of this and, and nice leather spice, but the finish lasts for days and days. I'm telling you, uh, you can do a shot of this, not a shot, because you know I don't believe in shots, but a nice sip of this and just sit back and let it let it roll, you know, because it's gonna, it's gonna be there for a minute. So I definitely recommend this. Let me know if you tried this. Um, I don't see a lot of talk on this one, so I don't know if I don't know if it's underrated or or what, but if you if you tried this, let me know. This is the high rye version. Um, I do not have the mash bill, but uh, when you taste it, you, you can tell it's high rye. But it warms you up really, really good. So, old soul, look out for that one. All right, we got Elijah Craig. All right, this is the uh, C923. This is 13 years old and it's 133 proof. What else can I say about Elijah Craig, man? This this is probably one of the best that I've had. But it's, uh, it's got that warmth to it, that, that creamy feeling, that, uh, that nice balance of uh, sweet and spicy and, and brown sugar. Definitely will warm me up. I mean, not even need a fireplace. But now listen, if you don't have, if, if high proof is not your thing, don't sleep on a 94 proof because this is a nice winter uh, jam too. So um, if you're not into the high proof, go check out the 94 proof if you have it. Elijah Craig, both of these are just two of my favorites. Uh, I love them. So I would put both of these in my winter category, okay? Let's move on. 
All right, we got a Jim Beam product here. And this is Old Granddad 114. Now, um, it seems to me that either you love this or you really dislike it because it drinks hot. But I think it's, it drinks hot with um, a lot of character. It's just not ethanol. But it has that hot cinnamon spice to it like the, uh, the red hot candies. It comes across with some nice dark fruit. Um, this is high rye. This is 27% rye, so you know you get that nice rye spice. So I would say for sure, um, Old Granddad 114 has to be on my winter, I can really say fall slash winter list, okay? Let's move on to the next. Okay, Old Forester 100. Um, similar to Old Granddad, it gives me that hot cinnamon taste, that dark fruit, the spice. But this one comes along with some nice brown sugar. So this is 100 proof. Um, everything doesn't have to be, you know, <laughs> 130. Uh, it's all about the flavor. And um, it's a, it's, I think the price on this is 27 bucks. So won't hurt the bank, but definitely one I keep on the shelf and I bring out quite a bit during the winter, winter months. So, yep, Old Forest, I love it. And last, not least, but Middle West Spirit. This is coming out of Ohio. Um, it is 95 proof. This is a weeded bourbon, but it's a it's a four grain weeded bourbon. What's the price on this? Uh, I think it's about 46 bucks. Um, you know what I really like this? It just comes across with that ginger cookie. You know, those round little ginger cookies, they're hard but it got that nice spice to it. That's what I get out of this, along with a little chocolate, and it's nice and warm. Although it's only 95, uh, 95 proof, but it still has a, a nice warm flavor to it. And again, it's, it's a wheated bourbon, which I love wheated bourbons, and it gives you that rich mouthfeel, you know, that I love so much. So that's my list. Um, let me know if you tried any of these. What do you think? I'd like to know what your list is. Um, did you agree with mine or would you, what would you replace it with? Leave it in the comments. Please like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It helps to uh, get the channel to grow more and more. So if you can hit that like button, smash that uh, subscribe button so you won't miss any upcoming content. As always, thank you so much for spending time with me. The best way to enjoy your bourbon is to drink the way you want to drink it. The best way to drink it is in a responsible way. And I will see you next time on The Bourbon Shop.